Hey everybody, this is Nathan Ware with Ray Networks with video four in our Macrium Site Deploy series. So if you watched video three, you know where we left off was, was making our deployment media, which is such a key step in this whole process because the deployment media is really what makes all of this work. So in that uh, video, we went through making either the deployment media here, which is used in um, say most USB deployment methodologies. And then I did go through a little bit of making your Pixie Boot uh, option here, which is really the two key ways that we can do deployment. So what we're gonna show you today is what it actually looks like when you're running the media. Now, whether you're running the media from a USB device or from a Pixie device, it looks and is the same media. There's no difference in it. It's just how you're launching it is different. And the way that I'm going to show you how I'm going to launch it today is from a virtual machine, just because this is the easiest way for me to demonstrate it. Now, the way I've done this is I've programmed the virtual machine to boot from the deployment ISO. Yes, that's the very same deployment ISO that you see here in the deployment section that we would use to also build a thumb drive. So using the rescued USB builder, if we did that, that would emulate this process exactly, and it would look and, ex and feel exactly the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this machine so you can see what this looks like. The machine will kick up here, and the first thing that you're gonna see here in a moment is the Windows flag. That is the Windows uh, environment firing off here. So I'm just gonna select the 64-bit version. Okay, You'll see it load up here. So here comes the Windows flag momentarily. Okay, there it is. That is the pre Windows PE environment firing up. And in just a moment, you'll see a little Macrium uh, splash screen that comes up here. And this is the rescue media starting up. Okay, now right off the bat, one of the things we can see here is that it detected our site deploy server. So the connection that it has made here is to this server because this deployment media is pre-programmed to connect back to its mothership, the management server, and that's what it's done when it started up here. So this connected piece that you've seen here, that is what that indicates. All right, now we do need to log in. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is click this login button, and then we'll go ahead and get logged in here to our test account. There we go. Now we are logged into our um, site deploy server. You can see we're authenticated. And really from here, there's only a couple actions that we would need to do or would have the option to do. Um, I'll first just go over this computer details section here, just so if we ever wanted to look through what Macrium is sensing uh, from a hardware perspective in the machine, we have this opportunity. Okay, and there is a section here to load drivers. Now this could be important if we're deploying to a machine that the rescue media was not uh, given drivers for previously. We could add those drivers on the fly. We would download them from the manufacturer. We can then load them in here just by get, you know browsing to wherever they're stored. And then the rescue media is able to use those drivers. This could be important if we haven't given the rescue media, say chipset drivers or something like that, this is a way where we can add them manually. So just to re recap that, that's under computer details, devices, and load drivers, okay? Now, from here, there's uh, two common actions that people would do from the screen. If this machine that we had booted the rescue media up to was our template machine that we were going to use for our golden image that we were gonna then put on other machines, we would click this take golden image option right here. So take golden image, okay? Now it sees our deployment store. This is what we made actually in our second video in the series, I went through making the deployment store. This is where we're saving our golden images to. And this section right here is, just to relate this to the management console, is right here, golden image stores. There it is. So this was something I set up in the second video, and that's how it shows up in the rescue media. So we would we would basically tell Macrium where we want to store and save this image to. In this case, I used a network share. 
I could then name the image. Maybe this is like, you know, accounting department image. And then save this image and it would uh, also give us some options to do sysprep if we, if we needed to do that. All right, so that is the very simple way to take a golden image. It's just take a golden image, pick your store, name the image, and that's it. Macroom will do the rest. In many cases, the making of an image takes less than 10, I mean, even 15 minutes is a, is a fairly long process in, in many cases. It's oftentimes under 10 minutes. It's extraordinarily fast. Now, let's say we had an image stored and we wanted to put it on this computer. We would simply use this deploy button right here down in the lower left. It would see images that we had in our store. Now, again, just to really relate what this looks like in the console, if I come back here and click on golden images right here, this is an image I had taken previously. So now if I wanted to deploy this image to this machine, there it is available in the rescue media because I've connected to my store, authenticated to my store. So now I can pull this image from the store and put it on this machine. Okay, I would hit the deploy button and away it would go. Okay, so those are really the two buttons where most of the action happens. You're either going to take a golden image or you're going to deploy a golden image. I do want to cover one other button here, and this is the launch reflect button. So I'm going to click this, and what you'll see here, if I click launch reflect, you'll see if you ever have used the rescue media with other Macrium products in the past, this is what the rescue media looks like that you may have used in the past. And from here, there is some things we could do. There is the, de the redeploy option here, which is where we can slipstream in new drivers directly into our restore job. And so this uh, redeploy piece is something that you would use after you've done a deployment and you wanna put in special drivers after the fact. This is where you would do this. We would simply browse to where our drivers are stored and Macrium will slipstream them into the machine so that the machine can boot cleanly. This is often used where people need to inject, like say, a new updated chipset driver uh, into the deployment. Other than that, that's really uh, all that I wanted to show in this, but this is the rescue media. And basically this is the most key tool to site deploy and getting to learn how to use this is really important. And when I'm training people how to use this, most of the time we just focus in on these three buttons right here because really taking a golden image and deploying a golden image, those are the buttons that you use most often. Once in a while, you'll launch the full reflect if you need to use that redeploy option to inject drivers into the machine. And then you can also inject drivers into the machine via this computer details that I showed you earlier under devices and load drivers. Essentially does the same thing as going into reflect and using the redeploy option.